Hi everyone, this is Bobby Figueroa once again and uh, this is session 8 of the ComSite 201 lecture series. We will be talking about set theory. This is the first part and the topics for this part include intro to sets and set theory or set notations, um, some common universal sets that you should know about, set operations, complements, and subsets, the difference between elements in some sets, and finally we'll be talking about cardinality. It's a bit long and I will be trying a different approach. I don't want to reinvent the wheel so I tried to look for a, a good video about this so I found something uh, in YouTube by Mike B. So I will be linking to him and doing my commentaries and some corrections that I um, had to share where I noticed some errors in some of his videos but those are really minimal errors so for you to be able to um, to watch Mike's videos in another tab within this video I will advise you to use control click for those who are using Windows and command click for those who are using Mac to open the videos, his videos, in another window so throughout this discussion I will be uh, linking to him and I will be giving you time to uh, watch his video for each topic. You'll have to pause this video so that it will not interrupt his video. Um, and I will see if uh, it works with you. Okay? Or for those who are not familiar with the control click or command click operation, then you can use right click on the link and click open link in a new window. So, as I've said, I will be adding my commentaries and corrections after each video. Um, the links will be displayed in each topic and you can pause like so. So for example here, intro to sets and set notation, you have to watch this video, click this link and pause this video. So you can do it now. Okay, assuming that you paused and you watched his video and now you've resumed this video, I can now go to my commentaries. So what he talked about was the definition of a set. He defined a set, which is a really nice way of describing a set. Uh, he also talked about symbols, the symbols that are used to denote sets and its elements or their elements. He also talked about the different ways to define a set, which is first roster method, where he enumerated all of the elements of the set, and the rule method, which is an easier way to uh, describe sets containing numbers, which has patterns. Okay, and we found a correction, just a tiny one. He mentioned the term ellipse. But this is not an ellipse, this is an ellipsis. Okay, this is an ellipsis. Three dots is called an ellipsis. Okay, the next video is about common universal sets, so please pause now. Okay, assuming that you've paused and you watched the video, here is my commentary. He talked about universal sets the common what what a universal set is he also enumerated the common universal sets the natural numbers and he talked about zero so in some references zero is not considered as a natural number in computer science most books consider zero as a natural number because it's used also for counting so if you can't count anything that's zero he also talked about integers rational numbers and real numbers. Please note uh, the symbols that are used to represent these universal sets. And here is a correction. Zero should not be included in odd integers because zero is not an odd number. Next, uh, he will be talking about set operations, complements, and subsets. So please Press pause now. 
Okay, now that you've resumed, let's go to my commentary. He talked about set operations, and he used the Venn diagram as a tool to describe uh, each operation. He talked about union. He talked about intersection. He talked about difference or relative complement. He talked about complement, and it has a correction. I will talk about it later. And then he talked about subsets. He differentiated uh, subsets and proper subsets. And lastly, he also talked about empty set. I have two corrections in this video. The first one is this Venn diagram about the complement of a set. So the complement of A, or A complement here, should not include this portion, this one. So, by the way, take note, the shaded portion here is not white. The shaded portion is green. So the complement of A is actually everything that is outside of A. So this should not be shaded green. This should be white. Okay. So the complement of A is this portion, the green shaded portion. So that's the first correction. The second one is what he said at the last part of the video. He said all sets contain the empty set. This is not true because the empty set cannot contain itself. It's stated in the book, right? And it's true that some sets can have the empty set, but not all sets can contain the empty set. For example, the set of integers does not contain the empty set. The set of real numbers does not contain the empty set. It is true, though, that the empty set is a subset of every set, and it's also in the book. Next, he differentiated, this is video number four, he differentiated elements and subsets. So watch the video now, please press pause. Okay, now that you've resumed, here's my commentary. He just talked about elements and differentiated them with subsets. This is a really nice video that will give you insight on how to really um, denote elements and denote subsets. It's kind of like um, a mind exercise for all of us. Okay, here's the last video. It's about cardinality. So please press pause now. Okay, assuming that you resumed, let's go to the commentary. Um, he talked about counting the distinct elements of a set, which is called cardinality. He also taught us how to do that, right? And he also told us about how to notate cardinality, which are two bars um, where the, the name of the set is in between the two bars. And then he also talked about cardinality of products of set operations or the cardinal cardinality of set operations. He talked about infinity, which is usually um, applicable to universal sets like integers and real numbers. And finally, he talked about countability, where some universal sets, like the set of integers, are countable, but uh, some sets are not countable, like real numbers are not countable. And I found no corrections in this video. So if you, if you think that you found a correction or uh, something that you need to raise, you can always email me and Sir Jun Jun or post something in the forums and we will take note of it. Thank you once again for listening. I hope uh, this still helped you in your review for the midterms and your quizzes. Um, please let me know if this is better than the previous ones or if you, you would like something like the previous one um, to be in the next video or in the next session. Thank you once again. See you again next time. Bye.